Hi, I'm Crystal Dilworth, and I will be doing a monologue from Walking Women playing the character of Rosaline, and I will also be doing a monologue from A Woman's Emotions playing a woman mid to late 30s, but you can call me Chrissy. I should have ran him out of town. Should have thrown my shoe at him that Monday morning when he walked into my kitchen smiling like there ain't nothing at all wrong in the world. Like we didn't have a history of taking and using and running away from. That man stood there smiling and talking like he was our oldest and bestest friend in the world. And my husband stood there looking like the biggest damn fool in the neighborhood. And all I wanted to scream was, man, don't be looking happy like you just found some long lost member of your family. Don't you know who this man is? This is a man who smiled to your face, eat up your food, and when you weren't looking, starts to come onto your wife. And because she was a fool, and because you wasn't doing right by her, she let him continue and even agreed to see him in his room. And when she did, what he knew what happened did. She even went back for seconds, thirds, fourths, and fifths until the day she said that magic word and that man went running like somebody was firing bullets at him. That magic word was love. All she said to him was, I love you. And it was like she gave a needle to him. That man's whole body froze up and when she asked him what was wrong, all he had to say was, nothing, nothing. Next thing she knew, he was gone. No call, no text, just gone, gone, gone. And she had to fend for herself and pull her emotions back to where they came from because fool that she was really let herself fall in love with a man who did not deserve to get the time of day from a clock. That's the kind of fool she was. And now three years later, I have to stand there and act like I was happy to see him. I even got to cook dinner for this man like he was my own family, when all I wanted to do was pour something down his throat and watch him fall on the floor strangling to death. But I'm gonna keep myself together because according to my husband, they still is best friends. And I've never been the type of woman to hold her feelings back too well. They always had a way of getting out. That's, that's the way God made me. So if in the middle of dinner, I bust that man upside his head with a saucepan, that's just the way it is. Them's the chances you take when you mess with a woman's emotions. A woman like me, anyways. Please, will you please get a 